What's up? What's good? What's poppin'? What's crackers? Percolate? What's really good in the hood? It's your man, Theo Butler, coming at you from WGTB Sports. See that? WGTB Sports. Top eight. It's still the top eight. It's only 18, so it's top eight. Week 10 post game wrap up. Last night was the last slate of games for the regular season. The last slate of games for the regular season. And that is cool. That is fine. It was kind of cool out there last night. Not as cold as it was last week. We appreciate all the family, friends, family, loved ones, co-workers that came out and supported us and showed us personal love and everything like that. Definitely appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get into these games. I got my little postcard here. T.A. wants me to send a special shout out to his brother, Karee. He says, T.A., Karee, I hope I'm pronouncing the name right if I'm not. You should have phonetically spelled the name so I can have that. Said his younger brother turned into a grown behind man as the season progressed. And that Wade showed out last night with two touchdowns against Ameriprise. What happened? Pink Savages defeated Ameriprise 32-20. to I picked Ameriprise. I thought they was going to do it. But Pink Savages rolled through. For a team that started off the season 0-3 to finish the season 6-4 says a lot about this team's growth. I want to see them to continue to grow on in the playoffs and everything. Not too much because we might wind up playing them. That's what I'm talking about right there. But anyway, how does that bode for these teams? Well, Ameriprise finished the season. Let me turn my card around. Ameriprise finished the season 5-5. Five and five. Pink Savages finished the season 6-4. and four. We'll see how this is going to alter this ranking board. But needless to say, we know Pink Savages is going to be ahead of Ameriprise. Our next later games is Shake and Bake defeated Ramrod 20 Six to twenty. Twenty-six to twenty. You couldn't have told me that was gonna happen. Jason Kellogg and the fellas over there shaking Baker have been struggling the whole season. But hey, if you're going to go out, it's best to go out on a high note, thus defeating a Ramrod team. Many people predicted would play for the City League Championship. Many people picked would contend with Black Magic for regular season dominance. How did that affect them? Well, Shake and Bake finished the season 2-8, and eight, and Ramrod finished the season 6-4. and four. Not something that they were looking for. Our next slate of games was, because we're going to talk about that war pack, number one versus number two. And as Derek Fulson said, these teams play like number one versus number two. So they get the game of the week, the game of the night. We'll talk about them later. Real Talk defeated Bortles and the Fellas 21-0. I picked that game. Bortles and the Fellas, I felt like they were going to, do something else, be a little bit more competitive as the season went along, to lose 21-0 to zero doesn't bode too well. But hey, listen, at the end of the day, Scott, you guys stick with it. You showed me some test, uh, what I want to call it, not integrity. Um, you showed me some fortitude, because you stuck with it the whole season, you didn't complain. And a lot of teams would have folded, but you guys came out there and played every week. So, real talk, defeating Borders and the fellas, 21-8. What does that mean for Borders and the Fellas? They finished the season one and nine. You guys did not go the whole season without winning, so way to stay in there. Real Talk to finish, finishes the season four and six. I know that was something that Real Talk was not looking at. Listen, Dwayne Strong puts a lot into this team. He believes in practicing. Four and six is definitely an underachieving record for uh, Real Talk. So now we have the game of the night. Number one against number two. What winds up happening with that? This game was highly competitive the whole time around. It kept people on the edge of their seats. It kept people standing. It kept everybody interested. At the end of the game, when it was all said and done, there was a rookie on the team who caught a ball that... He caught a last test touchdown to give Black Magic the win 25-19. These teams kept trading touchdowns all night long. Special shout out to my man Flip, the Russian for the Wolfpack, a.k.a. Mr. All Night Long. Mr. Excuse Me showed up last night big as well. Black Magic being without CJ, being without Red, they still did the damn thing. Hey, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Black Magic finishes the season 9-1. and one. The Wolfpack finished the season 73. And I'm going to say this because I said it last night. Drake, a lot of people didn't think you could quarterback a team. Well, guess what, young sir? 
Not only did you quarterback a team, you quarterback that team to a 7-3 record. That team who played in the spring, who didn't win any games. That team who played last fall, who they may have won three games out of 10. 7-3, young sir. I take my hat off to you. And for those naysayers out there, hey, just understand, this man is a talent. This man is something to be reckoned with. And if you do right by him, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with as years come. The ceiling is definitely high for Mr. Dre. So what does that mean for Black Magic? Black Magic finished the season ranked number one. Nine and one, right? So they're going to stay right there. Wolfpack, seven and three. I've never been a part of a Wolfpack team that has been above 500 like that during the regular season. So seven and three. We have a tie between Pink Savages and Ramrod, six and four. So what happens? Some people might have an issue with that. Why did I do that? Because they both got the same record. Because if you looked at who Pink Savages lost to and you looked at who Ramrod lost to, well, Ramrod did just lose last night to Shake and Bake. It ain't about just how many games you lose. It's who you lose to. So, Shake and Bake, who started this, not Shake and Bake, Pink Savages, who started the season ranked number seven, finishes the regular season ranked number three. That ain't bad, fellas. That ain't bad at all. Ramrod, that ain't where you want it to be, but that's where you that's where you wind up at. <laughs> Ameriprise, five and five, five wins, five losses. Got you right there. I'm gonna have to play me some triple fives tomorrow. Yeah, listen, we're gonna play lottery tomorrow. We're gonna play triple fives tomorrow. Five wins, five losses, rank number five. Everybody, play them fives tomorrow. Play them fives tomorrow. For lottery. Play them, play them, play them. Real talk, four and six. So yeah, real talk is right there at number six. Six four six tomorrow. Lottery numbers. Six four six. We going we're gonna get paid tomorrow. Six four six. Six four six. Shake and bake finishes the season two and eight. Don't play them numbers. And Borders and the Fellas finishes the season one and nine. That's how we did it. That's how it is. Here's what I'm looking at. Best season of flag football that I've been a part of for quite some time. And I know I said myself, I might be retired. Chris even said himself he might be retired. Guess who showed up last night in the Black Magic game? Chris. <laughs> Guess who? I'm going to come back to y'all. I don't know if I'm done yet. Playoffs are getting ready to start. So we need everybody to go ahead and get their monies turned in. ASAP is $150 per team if you're playing on playing. Also, if if you need to make some phone calls to different people because you plan on doing something different with a different team, you need to get in contact with those people ASAP so that they can make sure that you're on, your, that you're on their playoff roster. Also, we are working together. Um, myself, Dupree, and um, Alex are getting together trying to put this tournament together for January. We have a location. Now we just have to come up with the date. It's going to be at Rickers High School. Um, we're going to do that. A lot of y'all are Tallahassee are familiar with uh, Rickers and everything like that. It is for the young man, um, Frost, who was... Life was taken too, too early. Life was taken too early. So we're going to do something for him and his family, and it's going to be coming up during the month of January 20, uh, 2017. So y'all make sure y'all get those, get your monies together and everything, because we will be donating 100% of the proceeds to his, to his surviving family members. Don't want to end the show like that. Listen, for everybody that played this season, thank you. For everybody that tuned in, thank you. For everybody that subscribed and everything like that, thank you. For all of the people that showed up for support to root their teams on, thank you. We couldn't have done this without all of those parts coming together and representing Tallahassee to the fullest. That is my time. Thank you for WGTB Sports. We're still going to be coming at you because we're going to do some different things. We're going to sit down and talk to the coaches, talk about them, uh, talk about the seasons and what they look, what they think about going forward. I'm Theo. I'm out. Catch me in the movies. Peace.